All right, here we are back at the dock. We had a great day crabbing. Have about 12 to 15 Dungeness, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to clean them. So it's important to keep them alive as long as possible because their body excretes a poison and uh, as soon as they're dead. So you gotta cook them immediately. And so on the right end, we just wanna keep them alive. Lots of places they, they like to cook crab whole, but here in Southeast, we break them in half. So you wanna grab all their pinchers and all their legs. All right, we find a corner of a dock or corner of a boat works pretty well too. And use that spur, kind of like a can opener. You just pop the top off. Let me show you, it's, it's quick for the crab. Uh, we break them in half. Now you have all that, some people call it lung butter. A lot of people like to eat that. Uh, we generally don't. These are the gills. This is what allows the crab to breathe underwater. And here in Southeast Alaska, these are what's gonna get you in trouble because if you boil them with the gills on, uh, it's, it has the potential to carry PSP or paralytic shellfish poisoning. So that's why we break them in half and clean the gills off before we cook them. Here we go. This is a clean Dungeness crab and it's ready for the pot.